Okay guys, I've been working on this three-way. As you know, if you've been following my channel, I tested these two ribbons. This is the Fountech Neo X 2.0 and right down here we have the Viwave GRT 145. And um, I've kind of hinted at this three-way before. This woofer is the Modus UH205 PW1 that I tested quite a while ago and that's on my channel as well. And then these mids, we've got the Morel MDM55, and this is the ScanSpeak, well, it's a 15M. I, I don't know all the numbers behind it. Uh, I can dig that up. I just wanted to point out a few things. Compared to the test baffles I used, I've, I've been trying to work on diffraction with these tweeters. Um, I used roughly 8-inch wide baffles. Now I'm up to 10.5-inch wide for both of these. Okay. Uh, and that's helped put the diffraction dips right where I want them, closer to the stop band. So that helps me out. Um, I've also offset the tweeter and mid for the Fountech and Morel. I didn't do that with the ScanSpeak and ViaWave. Um, offsetting them also helps with diffraction. So I'm hoping to get a little better results. The Fountech and Morel, the measurements and simulations and everything it's kind of been it's been tough I, I I got to a point where it was like well I gotta hook them up and listen to them I, I wasn't that excited I, I didn't think I was really gonna get good results but I was excited to see what the morale would sound like I've got these up and running and holy cow was I ever wrong to doubt these they sound really good uh, both sound absolutely fabulous I would give the edge to the ScanSpeak and ViaWave just because it sounds a little more dynamic. The Fountech and the Morale are a little softer. They're very, very detailed, um, but they just have that little softer feeling to them. The bass is striking. Impressive what these things can do. These woofers are extremely linear on their stroke. Jealous. Let's be jealous. We just had a listen. And what do you think, Jason? I want a pair. <laughs> They're pretty good, and we just like... I'm jealous that Ryan has this, and I've already bought drivers for my next project, so... And they're not even really refined yet, no, so... No, um... and 30 seconds in, I was like... <sighs> These were some pretty crazy crossovers, and they really depleted my parts bin, too. Thankfully, the ViaWave uses far fewer parts to get it how I need it. Um, the Fountech, I put a fourth order crossover. I don't do that very often, but just, it just needed it. It needed to be smashed into place. These aren't small boxes, but, you know, they're not subwoofer size either. And we're only talking about a single 8-inch woofer. I am, for the, because the ViaWave and the ScanSpeak have so much sensitivity, I am thinking about doubling up these woofers for that. The downside to the single woofer version, uh, these speakers are not that sensitive. I have worked with a lot of compression drivers and pro woofers and things like that. These things are, they require a lot of power. I may also do a test box using the Morel and the uh, ViaWave tweeter. Uh, the square frame with the round frame, I'm a little unsure about it, but I just saw on Facebook, Rick Craig posted a picture of exactly that sort of layout, and I thought it actually looked pretty good, so maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Sorry this video is so unpolished and quick and dirty uh, without much editing involved, but I just wanted to get this out there and let you guys know what I'm doing so you can kind of see this project and why I was testing these tweeters and uh, maybe pique your interest a little bit. Also, please uh, ask a question uh, in the comments. I'd like to know if you would like test videos on these mids, the ScanSpeak 15M and the Morel MDM 55. If anyone is interested in seeing test videos on those, I'd be more than happy to, uh, just as long as there's some interest there in that. Let me know if you have any suggestions or thoughts on how these um, three ways could be made even better. Do you think it's worth putting an extra $300 woofer in each of these towers? Uh, do, is there a mid out there you think I'm, I'm missing that I should try? I'm not a bank, so I might not be able to order them all. Uh, please don't suggest an $800 Accuton or something like that. I just can't do it. Please feel free to email Accuton and tell them to send me a pair. I'd be more than happy to try them. But yeah, any suggestions, comments on how I can improve this three-way, 
Uh, I'd love to hear them. Um, I'm totally open to input. Thanks, guys. Check out these other videos and stuff, too. And uh, stay tuned for the next one when I get really into these.